Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Pro-EU groups are launching a coordinated campaign to push for a referendum on the final Brexit deal. Around a thousand campaigners are expected to attend a launch event in London later today to demand what they're calling a people's vote on the agreements, which the government in the EU hope to reach by October. And so to uh, the next story, which I've mentioned already, with both the Labour and Tory parties, as I've said, under fire from die-hard Remainers over their Brexit stance, the middle ground of British politics is suddenly becoming just a little bit crowded. Two pro-EU parties have announced themselves recently, and now a new group, People's Vote, is launching a campaign to persuade MPs that all British citizens should have a further say on any deal that Theresa May strikes with Brussels. Who is fronting this? Not Nick Clegg, not Tony Blair, no Millibands involved. It's the actor Sir Patrick Stewart, better known for Star Trek and the X-Men. I spoke to him this week and I asked him what exactly People's Vote wants. We are not opposing or calling for a second referendum. The referendum, the people decided that we should leave the European Union and um, we respect that decision. However, as time has gone by, as you well know, the information that we're receiving about the terms and conditions of that separation are quite unlike the terms and conditions that were spoken of so loosely during the 2016 campaign. I mean, the £350 million pounds is now infamous that we were told would be made available weekly for the National Health Service. Good Lord, who knows that? But the National Health Service needs it. Misleading. They untrue. say it will come eventually. Uh huh. And uh, what guarantees do we have of that? Which is why the uh, campaign for the people's vote is simply requesting that we have another chance to consider what the terms of this divorce are going to be. And so your idea is that when Theresa May comes back to the House of Commons and says, this is fundamentally the deal that I have got, that deal should be voted upon by everybody in the UK, yes or no? Exactly. What happens if they say no? Well, <laughs> I, I don't know how they would deal with that, but we would simply stay in the union. That's what that vote would mean. Because the union is not clear about that. The EU are saying, well, you know, you might have to go anyway. Well, um, at least two leaders uh, in Europe have said that if we decide we want to stay, no problem, we can stay. No. Uh, Macron is one of those. Now, you're a private citizen, and this is an organisation of private citizens rather than full-time politicians, mostly. Tell us, because you're an actor, what are you doing yes. here? <laughs> um, I'm not a politician. I am not an economist. Um, I am not in the Foreign Service. What I am motivated by is history and emotion. Um, when, on the 1st of January in 1973, we formally became, along with Ireland, uh, became members of the European Union. It was one of the grandest days of my life. I'm a war baby. I was born in 1940. And um, when I began to be aware of the world that was around me, a lot of it was not good. And so when we became part, formally part of that union, it was for me one of the most exciting days of my adulthood. So, Patrick, when you say that you accept the original referendum, you don't really. This is about reversing that, what you would regard as a catastrophic decision. It's not, Andrew. No, it is about giving people all the information which they have been denied to date. But once they've got that information, you hope that they will vote down the deal that Theresa May is trying to make? Personally, I do, yes, because I am opposed to uh, separation. And yet, at the moment, Jer you're a Labour supporter, you always have been. Jeremy Corbyn, your leader, has actually been firing people from the shadow cabinet for saying exactly what you are saying, that there should be a second referendum. I, I tell you honestly, I do not understand what is going on with all of that. Jeremy is a, a puzzle, 
to me. There is a huge question mark from my own personal point of view hanging over the leader of the Labour Party at the moment. Because of this issue, above all. It's one of the issues. One of the issues. Now, the People's Vote is, is launching today in Camden, in North London, where I live as well. But a lot of people would say that is exactly the problem. You have a famous, well-known actor in North London, that is exactly the wrong place to be launching. You should be in West Yorkshire, where you come from, or somewhere <laughs> well outside the metropolis. Well, if West Yorkshire invites me, that's where I shall go. But, yes, uh, Andrew... <laughs> Yes, celebrity has a certain value. And if my involvement um, in this campaign is going to be of use to those running the campaign, then I am very happy to be here because it happens to be where I philosophically feel about the European community. And what finally do you say to all those people watching who voted the other way and say, we won that referendum and now people are trying to unpick it afterwards? What we are doing is in their benefit. We are saying this is the deal that we're going to sign on to or not. And it is absolutely right and part of the democratic process that you are aware of that. We are holding out a hand to those people. To pull a majority of MPs over to this viewpoint relatively quickly while the negotiations are going on is very very tough time is very short you'd have to have superpowers to do it that well <laughs> oh if, if i only had i would be much more articulate in front of you than i am now but um the two roles i'm most well known for jean-luc picard from star trek and, and charles xavier from x-men were excellent admirable individuals yes intellectuals but also compassionate and concerned for the well-being of everyone they would have voted remain there you are i'm going to change the subject just for a moment because today you are fronting a new anti-brexit campaign a big launch of a sort of bringing together of various anti-brexit groups what's it all about well, it's cross-party. There are numerous national organisations. I don't think you're involved, are you, Nadine? Hundreds, 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 hundreds of thousands. It's like thousands. a prisoner of war thrashing around the jungle. Well, it's over, well, Chucker. Brexit well, is happening. Well, Brexit, the process for our departure has started and Parliament um, implemented the 2016 referendum in that sense. But actually, we've got something new here, which is a Brexit deal, which we will have at the end of the year. And I don't think that 650 politicians should be determining what we do on that for 65 million people. Um, I think it's absolutely right that people should have a say on that Brexit deal. And that's what this cross-party campaign is it's all about. It's sour grapes, isn't it's, it? It's a second you just referendum, can't come to terms well, with leaving. Well, well, it's a second referendum, isn't it, Technically Shaka, speaking, it, is the, it would be the first poll on the deal. And we've had a number of referendums on the European Union now. One of the really important things, though, Robert, is we've got over half a million and young people who are going to be more affected by this than either me, Nadine, you would, you know, the rest of us, uh, and they haven't had any say on this at all. So this is about ensuring that but their voice is brought to the table. Robert, 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 can I just say, a second referendum, Chucker, which is what you're really campaigning for, is never going to happen. The public don't want it. And in fact, the people who do want it are supporters and well, activists actually, wanting well, Jeremy Corbyn to be Prime again. Minister. <laughs> Caroline Lucas the is coming on in a few minutes. It. We'll the, pick the, up again with her and you on they all of this. Now, although all of us are obviously concentrating on the situation in Syria today. The long-running story for Britain is Brexit. Uh, you're involved, I think, with Chuka, aren't you? In, uh, involved in Chuka, with Chuka. In, in, in the so-called People's Vote, uh, which is a bringing together of various campaigning groups to push for a referendum on the terms of the deal. But this is just, isn't it, just a sort of disguised way of you saying, well, we don't accept the result of the first referendum. I I really find it extraordinary how, how even people like yourself seem to have such a, a horror of extending democracy. We've already had uh, the Prime Minister agree that there will be a vote of MPs on the final deal. We're simply saying that it's not enough for 650 MPs to make that decision. It should go back to the people. They are the ones who set off this whole process. They made a decision about uh, departure. What they were unable to make a decision about was destination because the Leave campaign were very clever about never actually setting out what Leave looks like. So that's why it's right, I think, but that can I ask have a you, say. You, you, if there were this second vote and the people rejected the terms of Brexit, would that then mean we would stay in the EU? Or what would, what would be the significance of that? 
vote? Well, ultimately, that's for Parliament to determine. The focus of this campaign is to ensure that your viewers actually get a say on the deal. I mean, parliamentarians just so about managed so to get a say on So we might still in. Brexit, even after your referendum? Well, my, my, my personal view is that you would have a proposition whereby you would either leave with the deal or you wouldn't leave and you would seek to change our country from within. But that isn't the focus of the campaign. The campaign is to give your viewers and give you... Robert, a say I'm on what sure happens to future are generations in this country. To you. Now, sadly, I've got to cut you out because many thanks to <laughs> Emily, David, Caroline, Patricia, Chucker, and Nadine. It's all we got time for.